Hey, what's up everyone? Over the past few years, I've done a lot of traveling. I've explored places that people have grown up with and still enjoy from the big and small screens. So that's why for this new segment on my channel, I'm gonna be taking you all on a trip to the movies. Well, actually, the locations within the movies. Join me while I take you on a tour of famous landmarks and locations from your favorite movies and TV shows. I'm Justin, and this is Entertainment Road Trip. Canada, the birthplace of ice hockey. Jim Carrey. Oh, righty then. And some of the best maple syrup I've tasted in my life. But any TV show or movie buff knows Canada is an entertainment mecca as far as filming goes. This time around, I traveled in and around Vancouver to check out iconic locations of the amazing superheroic TV series Smallville. So the first stop on our trip is the Luther Mansion. Home of Lex and occasionally Lionel Luther, this epic house was host to not only Smallville, but Arrow, X-Men, and Deadpool as well. So all the Luther Mansion's interior scenes were filmed on a set. I know, bummer. But the exterior shots were always filmed here. This castle almost looks the same in 2019 compared to the first appearance in the series back in 2001. But for curiosity's sake, Let's just see what's changed. This stop is a must for any movie or TV show fan, and you'll be happy to know that you're even allowed to tour the inside if you want a little history lesson. Now before I get into all these other fantastic locations and landmarks, I just figured I'd point something out for you guys. Smallville started filming around the year 2000, which means for the most part, this show relied on practical effects when they filmed a lot of their scenes. With the last few seasons of the show being the exception, utilizing more film sets and CGI, going forward, these locations and landmarks are all gonna be from the first few seasons of the show before Clark's permanent stay in Metropolis. Oh, Whitney, uh, shipped out over there. It's, I'm sure it's pretty What would a teenager be without his schooling? Well, that brings us to our next stop, Smallville High. The interior shots were filmed at Templeton Secondary School, and they also filmed a lot of exterior shots here as well. But earlier on in the show, they used Vancouver Technical School for some of the exterior shots. And of course, this appears in every single Smallville episode when Allison Mack appears on screen. Good to see not much has changed with this building. And while at school, numerous scenes took place at our next location, which is the football stadium. All right guys, same play. Oh yeah, we got him. Blue 32! Blue 32! Hey! Although some early scenes were shot using Vancouver Technical School's football stadium, most of the episodes filmed primarily at Swan Guard Stadium in Burnaby. Next up, we have one of the most iconic places in the entire series. See at the beginning of every episode's intro and the show's pilot, we come to Low Bridge.
Okay, hold up. For comparison's sake, let's just take that back a little bit and see what's changed. This scene was what started it all. That long-lasting obsession Lex Luthor had with Clark Kent all stems from this specific moment in Smallville history. If you're trying to find this bridge for yourself, it's located over the Alouette River in Pitt Meadows, British Columbia. Old Silver Bridge or Harris Road Bridge also has walking trails or ample parking on either side for the public, including fellow TV show fans. So we already got a glimpse into Lex Luthor's house, so why not some of the Luthor Corp buildings? First, we have the Luthor Corp building that's used in the earlier seasons of the show. This building, located in Surrey, British Columbia, is SFU's Central City building in real life. If you were wondering, yes, a few minor scenes were shot inside this structure, but all the shots you'd really recognize were done on the building's exterior. As for the other building, Luther Corp Fertilizer Plant Number 3, this is located on Anasis Island and it's actually a waste water treatment plant. Surprisingly enough, I was led onto the property to get some footage and pictures. And I know what you're thinking, it looks a lot different than the one in the show. That would make sense because when I visited, this whole place was a construction zone. And apparently you can even book your own tour here. Let's take a trip downtown, shall we? Here we arrive at downtown Smallville, where a lot of the early season scenes took place. Now, people should recognize this street right away because Nell's shop, Fordman's, and multiple other stores from the show were all filmed here. Now, I know those places are a little bit obscure, so how about something more familiar? The Clover Theater, located on Main Street in Cloverdale, British Columbia, is used for all the exterior shots of the town where every high schooler could hang out in the show. Now, I will say I was a little bit bummed when I found out that they gave this theater a new paint job recently. I myself prefer the vintage colors used in the show, but regardless, there's no denying this was once one of Smallville's hot spots. So, similar to the situation with Luther Corp Plant, our next location had a bunch of construction going on when I stopped by. Not to mention, the front of the building looks completely different. Smallville Medical Center was featured in numerous different episodes early on in the series. The real hospital is located in Langley, British Columbia. Respectively, it's called Langley Memorial Hospital. And if you were wondering, unless you're dropped off for an emergency, yes, you have to pay for parking. But hear me out, all of the dreams of yesterday Keep breaking me down, what's on the outside, can you say? Or am I getting care? Now I'm here at Bunsen Lake, which is actually Crater Lake from Smallville. And in the show, there's multiple episodes shot here especially the episodes where they introduce Aquaman. Well, 
So it's not only the fact that we got introduced to a very well-known superhero now, but the fact that it's such a beautiful location is just really captivating. Located in Anmore, British Columbia, I'd say the only real difference is there's no dock anymore. This was featured in multiple episodes earlier on in the series, especially in season three. The episode Slumber was the first real introduction to what a beautiful lake and place this actually is. So now that we've got some more popular locations out of the way, let's take a look real quick at some of our more episodic locations. Reeves Dam. I don't get it. So for our first little episodic location, as Lois said, we're at Reeves Dam. Now, as many of you can already guess, this is a direct reference to Christopher Reeve and George Reeves, the original person who played Superman. A few things have changed over the years, but this is easily still recognizable as that place where the fight went down between Clark and Bizarro. Ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes. We are on the set of Smallville right now. We're actually on the street of Metropolis. And it's pretty incredible that they built this entire street uh, from the ground up, because we're actually in Burnaby, British Columbia right now. So as Tess said, our next location is where they shot a lot of the scenes inside and on a back lot at Burrsford Street Studios. Now this isn't really too much of an eventful stop on your road trip, because you obviously can't go inside or go to the back lot. For diehard Smallville fans, I figured I'd still throw it in. So as our final location to wrap up the more obscure episodic locations, we come to that specific scene in the finale of season one where Lana was swept away by that tornado. So this isn't really an exact address, but if you want to find this great landscape shot, you can check out 264th Street and Zero Avenue in Langley, British Columbia. Moving on, let's check out two famous buildings that any Smallville fan can recognize. Here we come to downtown Vancouver, or should I say, Metropolis. And what's Metropolis without its most popular building, the Daily Planet? Compared to what it looks like in real life, the Marine Building is pretty much the exact same as it is depicted in Smallville, even down to those iconic doors. The only thing that's missing is the giant planet on top. Now in the show, Clark gets his first real taste of flying by jumping an extreme distance from the Daily Planet to Luther Court Plaza's building, letting us know that the Daily Planet and Luther Court Plaza are right next to one another. So where are these buildings located in real life? Well. Actually, they're located in the same spot, just mere feet away from each other. Earlier in the video, I talked about two Luther Court buildings. Well, believe it or not, there's actually a third location, Luther Court Plaza. This is none other than Vancouver's Douglas Jung Building, the Government of Canada. Even here, the right to dream. 
As we reach the end of this, I just have to let you know there are tons of filming locations from Smallville, and obviously, I didn't have time to visit all of them, but I got to see the most iconic one. anyone probably knows where I'm standing right now. That's right, none other than the Kent Farm. The farm, located in Alder Grove, British Columbia, is one of the most iconic filming locations in all of comic book and superhero history. Now keep in mind, this is still someone's house, but luckily for me, I got permission by the owner to go on the property and check everything out. Surprisingly enough, the farm looks just about the same compared to when they filmed it about 20 years ago. And I'm sure that any of you that caught the Elseworlds crossover on CW recognize this farm as well. And this holiday season, Tom Welling and Eric Durrance will find their way back to the Kent farm on the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. Words cannot express how surreal it was to check out some of these locations for myself. Any fan of this show needs to check out Canada's West Coast because the filming locations, downtown Vancouver, the mountains, and everything else in this area is truly amazing. So there we have it guys, my first stop on this entertainment road trip. Where am I heading next? Well, you'll just have to wait and see.